Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is the bifolar pendulum. It may seem to be plain by most, but in reality, it's responsible for some of the greatest discoveries in scientific history. For centuries, physicists have struggled with an extremely complex phenomenon. Theories after theories have been proposed. Greek philosophers like Archimedes and Aristotle passed on with incorrect views on this concept. Famous and world-renowned scientists Galileo Galilei, Albert Einstein worked specifically on solving this intricate mystery. Sir Isaac Newton developed fundamental equations to explain this concept. And what is this concept, you may ask? Gravity the very force that we experience every single second of our lives. This device could achieve in one day what physicists and philosophers struggled to achieve in centuries and even thousands of years. This device, without the use of any technology, can determine the exact value of the acceleration due to the Earth's gravity. This device is only off by just 1%. Let's jump into its physics. Here we have a uniform rod, which is the pencil, connected to two suspension strings that are equal in length and kept equidistant apart from the center. When you rotate the pendulum at any given angle, tension forces in the string cause it to oscillate back and forth until it reaches its equilibrium position. This is known as a restoring torque force. Theory has it that if you keep the length of the strings constant and use the same rod, the pencil, every single time between trials, then by varying the distance between these two suspension strings, one can examine its effects on the period of motion because there is a direct effect. And by doing so, you can plot a graph and then determine the acceleration due to the Earth's gravity. Quick definition, the period is defined as a time it takes for an object to complete one cycle of motion. So if I rotated the pendulum to about here, the time it takes for it to reach 50% and then back is known as the period. So theoretically, if I vary the distance between these two suspension strings, it has a direct impact on the time it takes for this pendulum or the pencil to come back and complete one cycle of motion. In other words, the period changes. Here's why. So this is the equation that relates the properties of the bifolar pendulum. We have the period of motion represented by this variable here equals 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by the root of i times l. So a quick review on the variables. i is the moment of inertia of the pencil, which is represented by this equation right here, 1 over 12 ml squared. So this is the mass of the pencil, which will be kept constant. This is the length of the pencil itself not to be confused with this L here, the lowercase L, which actually represents the length of the suspension string itself, the string that is holding the pencil up. All divided by the distance between suspension strings, these are the two variables that we mentioned that we would, um, that, that would have direct effects on each other, multiplied by the root of the weight, M times G m being the same mass of the pencil that is represented here. Soon you'll see in the calculations that they cancel each other out. And this is the variable that we are going to solve for. This is the acceleration due to the Earth's gravity. Now if I vary the distance, say I increase the distance, the denominator will also increase, causing the fraction as a whole to decrease. Thus the period of motion will decrease as well. Now if I graph the relationship between these two values, where on the y-axis we have the period of motion, and on the x-axis we have the inverse of distance, well I can obtain a relationship and actually get a line of best fit that is completely linear. And as we know, mathematics, simple math, the slope equation for the slope is delta y over delta x. The y value is the period of motion. The x value is the inverse of distance. And now with simple mathematics, with division and fractions, we can get the slope equals the period times the distance. Now, how is this significant? Well, if we follow the arrows here, we have an equation of the acceleration of the Earth's gravity. How will this obtain? Well, simple isolation of this value here. The same equation we use, the simple isolation strategies. So once we obtain this equation, we just need to substitute the values for the variables. For the large uppercase L, we know that this represents the length of the pencil, which can be obtained just by using a ruler. The lowercase L is the length of the strings. All we need to do again is use a ruler. Now the mystery value is the TD, and if you can make the connection, we already figured that out. It's the slope. So we just need to substitute the value here. Now we have all the values. We have the big L, the small L, plus the slope, period times distance. 
And now all we need to do is plug and chug, put this into a calculator, and then we can obtain the value for the acceleration due to the Earth's gravity. I did this calculation by myself. I got 9.78 meters per second squared, which believe it or not, is only 0.3% away from the accepted value of 9.81 meters per second squared. This is the power of the bifolar pendulum, no technology used at all. In the end, this pendulum enabled us to determine so easily the acceleration due to the Earth's gravity. Not only that, this pendulum can determine Earth's magnetic and gravitational fields. It can be used to regulate time. It's used in Navy navigation satellites. It can determine moment of inertia properties for different objects. It's used in skyscrapers to um, counteract the violent motion caused by seismic activity. All in all, this pendulum has so many applications, but still looks so plain and simple to the human eye. And that's not all. This is just one pendulum. There are simple pendulums, focal pendulums, double pendulums, torsion pendulums, and much more, each of which can be used and has been used to support theories such as the centrifugal force theory to determine scientific values such as the gravitational constant and to help mankind in everyday tasks just like keeping the time. To conclude, I believe that high schools, universities, and learning facilities all across the world should fund these extremely cheap devices in order to help students learn and discover the dynamics of the earth in a fun, fast, and intuitive way. This is a pendulum, and this is pure physics. Just out for now.